So, um, so Katy Perry is trying to end this five-year feud that's been going on with Taylor Swift. You remember it started when Kanye jumped on the stage and, and Taylor did that. No, wait, that's Kanye and Taylor. Okay, <laughs> jeez. Um, okay, so the, these two have been fighting since Taylor stole Katy's backup dancers back in 2013. Anyway, Katie sent an actual olive branch, an actual olive branch. You take a look at this and squint and see everything in the, in the picture. Mm -hmm. So I just got to my dressing room and found this actual olive branch. This means so much to me. Oh, oh, <laughs> caught, caught me. Um, now, Katie's, Katie is reportedly very upset with Taylor because Taylor posted it online. This is not supposed to be something for the world to see. This is supposed to be between two grown women. Uh, Katie is a 30-something and Taylor is 29 at this point. 33 and Taylor's 28. 28 and 33. Mm -hmm. Listen, Katie, if you wanted to apologize, why didn't you just call her as opposed to the olive branch? branch? That, that way you would know that it'd be between the two of you. And Taylor it, it will continue to be childish because... This, and I love Taylor. I'm a Swifty. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, not a crazed one, but I'm a fan. Beautiful, the long legs, the, 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 the voice, the, the mean personality. <laughs> something, something about that. Yeah, I'm a fan. So Taylor, um, so Taylor is uh, apparently still being shady to Katie, acting like Katie was the wrong one in the whole feud. If you noticed in that it was all turned around to make it look like Katie was apologizing because she did all the wrong and Taylor was the wah, 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 you know. So now Taylor's on this world tour and they say that the feud, well, they don't say, you see, that the feud between her and uh, Kim Kardashian is reignited. Now, do you remember when Kim called her a snake online after Taylor was caught lying about Kanye. Oh. Okay, well, because uh, uh, Katie agreed. Wait, I'm getting my white girls confused. Hold, <laughs> Hold on, okay. <laughs> I love you for watching. <laughs> Um, okay, okay, okay. Follow me, help me now. <laughs> uh, Taylor kicked off her reputation tour. Taylor got a phone call from Kanye West a few years ago saying, Taylor, I want to use you in a song. Taylor was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. Well, the song was ripping apart basically Taylor. Taylor never asked, what's the content of the song? Taylor was just like, I'm cool with that. Kim recorded the whole conversation of Taylor agreeing about the song, not to participate in it, but just, my man's about to mention you in a song. And she's like, oh, cool. <laughs> and so Kim posted it, exposing that Taylor already knew that she was gonna be in a song. Taylor tried to act like Bambi again, like she knew nothing. And then <clears throat> ended up, uh, Kim ended up calling her a snake. And the snake thing is uh, apparently a big star in her new reputation tour which kicked off um, a Tuesday night. She was, uh, yeah, that's a giant 30-foot snake. And you have to listen to what Taylor is saying because she's throwing hella shade right now. I love this girl. God. <laughs> Go. I went through some times when I didn't know if I was going to get to do this anymore. Do you understand the dramatics of it all? Yes. Like, she's milking it for everything it's worth. And by the way, when I say I like her, I mean, she's one of those girls you like from afar, kind of like, you know, you like her from afar. You don't want her to be your friend. And also, for all the sweetie pie, peaches and cream reputation that she tries to have, she's like one of the meanest girls in the music business, okay? 
And the controversy is selling. I'm sure the tickets are sold out. And so I don't care about any of it. Yeah. Move along. <laughs>